Thank you for stopping by my channel and now I'm going to show you how I made this raggedy tassel doll and what comes in the kit when you purchase one of these that's at my in my Etsy shop and it, it does have a tassel doll attached to it. Uh, there are four of them. There's two for the black ladies, brown ladies, and two for the vintage white ladies um, as far as the envelopes. And they're the same of what's in each, each of them has the same thing. So number one, you'll find an envelope that's stamped and aged a little bit with inked, inked I should say. And uh, inside the envelope will be the kit. And in the kit, you will get enough to make three, um, three dolls. These you need six heads because you need two heads per doll front and back, unless you want to just punch a blank circle for the back and not do the back. That's fine. That's up to you. You have two different faces. Um, these faces are the same. And then these faces are the same but different than these faces over here. So you can make three, six dolls all together. And so with that, you also get enough body parts um, to make six dolls. You'll need a front and a back for each doll. And then you will get enough teddy bears that you can cut out. And I will show you how I cut mine out because you only see a little bit of the teddy bear. You don't need the whole thing. But I took this off of my teddy bear shop and um, I used it for the tassel doll. So I'll show you where to cut it, how to cut it, and what to make it look like. Okay, so that's in there. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, you need a one inch punch, circle punch, and you need your faces, whichever ones you're going to use, and you want to cut them kind of close to the edges. Now I left space so that you can hang on to this and put it in your punch. See, you want to hang on to it. And you want to line it up with the circle perfectly. And it will line up perfectly, but you just have to um, make sure it does. Punch, and there you have your perfect face. And you're going to do, you're going to need two of them. So I'm going to cut her another one off. I'm going to put her in my punch. And thank goodness these one inch punches aren't as expensive as all the big ones, which I love the big ones too. And punch. There you go. All right. So now I have two of them and I need the bodies. I've cut out two bodies. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take part of a file folder and I'm going to glue one of them to the file folder because I want it to be sturdy. So I'm using my fabric tack. I probably would use tacky glue normally because this gets expensive. I'm just going to glue it on there. And then I'm going to cut it out. Now you can make these as thick as you want. I only use one layer of um, a file folder. Uh, you could use cereal box, you could use chipboard, whatever you want. I'm just going to cut it out. This is where her head goes. It's not a neck. <laughs> As if it were, wow. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to glue the other side to it. And then I will have a nice sturdy body. Now if it's a little off, don't worry about it. You're going to cover it all up anyways. So there I have a nice sturdy body. There you can see some white. It's a little off, but it's okay. And then I'm going to take my head and I don't want the top of my head to go past this. That's kind of a, a marking spot for you so you know how far up to go. 
and I'm just going to put a little glue here. It's kind of important to place her head on before you put on the dress so you can see where it is. Is it crooked or what? And then you want to really work hard on putting the other head straight, but also where the circle is matching them up. You know what I mean? And I have a little white rim there, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it over and make sure there's nothing showing on either side. And I'm going to take my file folder and some ink. And I like to use a um, pom pom and an alligator clip to uh, ink around my heads because you can get into tighter places. And you can actually use a marker if you wanted to to go around to um, cover the edges. I like to cover the edges. doesn't look so mm, paper dollish, even though it is very paper dollish. You could also um, ink anywhere else you want to ink to. So I think I'll do this. Now wouldn't this be cute if you took a picture of your granddaughter or your daughter and take a one inch punch and just punch out her picture and make make it into a doll because you certainly can do that now that's the hard part <laughs> well we could right now you could also take and put the hole in I come down just about oh, not quite a quarter of an inch but more than an eighth of an inch and I just use my awl and I go through all the layers Maybe I should have waited for that to dry because <laughs> it's moving it around. So let me continue to mess it up. All right, I think I'll do that. <laughs> there you go. And your um, bowl pin will fit right in there. Now for the fun part, all I do is cut me up some fabric pieces. And these are three inches long is what I've used. And I wanted to um, wrap her with um, lace before I, I put on the skirt. So I'm just going to go, you know, you can wrap her any way you want. I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to use some hot glue and that so I don't burn myself. I go down and then I go over because you know you're not really going to see any of this the teddy bear is going to cover it up but then I'm going to go like this because I want to cover up her neck a little more I'm going to go like that smoosh it down And then I'm going to trim. I'm just going to trim that off because it's it's lace. It's not going to ravel, so it's not going to hurt anything to cut the edges. You could do that on both sides. I just like to have it a little secure, the first layer. Okay, now i got glue on there. There we go. And you do want to be careful about the face when you're gluing because it's very easy to get glue on the face when you're gluing. Ask me how I know. Yeah too many times. Okay, so now we're going to put her um, clothes on. And I like to sometimes gather the, the lace. And uh, I do put some lace always on my tassel dolls. And I just put some, this is low temp glue, by the way. <laughs> put some glue on the top and just make kind of a little bit of a pinch it so that it has kind of a little bit of a gather to it. 
I always use a silicone pad and a silicone mat because um, then it comes right off. So I'm going to do a couple of those on the front and on the back. These are three inch long. That's what I use. And then if I want it shorter, I cut it off. But three inches for this little girl is, is plenty, really, really is. I've had to trim them even after three inches. This is one that I did, and these strips are three inches long. So you see, it really is a good size doll. Depends on what you want to put it on. If you want to put it on a gift, you might want to make it smaller. If you want to put it on something elegant, you may make it longer. So it's just up to you what you want. And so I just go around and I glue. I glue my uh, strips on. I get fabric that I like, lace that I like. I don't gather all of them. I just did this with the lace because it was a little bit wide. Because she's, she's narrow, narrow-waisted. She's not wasted. She's just narrow-waisted. <laughs> okay. And I usually tend to do whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. Very rarely do I do something different than that. So those are the only ones I'm going to gather. It's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like having a slip under there, you know. Put them on there. Um, I like this red and beige one, so I'm going to put that on there. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And then uh, maybe a blue one here. And then I have some... I have this, which is some ribbon with hearts on it. So I think I'm going to put that on here and see what that looks like. And you can always pull them off. When you use hot glue, at least you can get things off. When you use the other glues, sometimes it rips anything you put it on if you try to remove it. Okay, so over here I've got another one. Oh, and I also like this. So maybe I'll put this one here. And I'll put the blue one over here. Um, I thought I had another piece of that ribbon. No, oh, I do, but it's a lot longer. Well, let me see. I can trim it afterwards. I'm going to show you how I cut the bear out. Because she is holding a bear. So before, what I do to finish off this waist here is I put a ribbon that I've tied with a fork, I put it right across her waist and that really covers up everything on both sides. Um, so I think right now, let me see, depending on you know how full you want your skirt, you can just keep layering. Turn it over and put another one over here. If you want a particular color, you can just do it all those colors. If you want a particular style, you know, get the fabrics that you want for the style that you want. So I'm kind of doing this away from me, so I can't really do a good job as getting it straight because I'm trying to stay in frame because I have a tendency to get out of frame. But that makes things a little uneven. But as you can see, it's really pretty easy to make them go straight. So now, um, if you've got them up close to you, what I'm going to do is these come in the kit. They are two little bears that are off of the teddy bear shop, the large teddy bear shop. And I just cut them out. 
and um, cut them off of the shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut this little bear right off. Don't need them. Okay. And you're really not going to see the paw. I know there's not a lot of paw there, but I'm going to cut where the sleeve is and then around her head and her ears. She has a little bow. I want to keep that in there. I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, but I'm trying. Okay. And then right across where the lines are on her dress is usually long enough. If you want to cut it right there, long enough and that's what you end up with and now I'm going to ink her the teddy bear get all that white off of there let me see what I got I can ink on so uh, my fingers are now so full of hot glue gotta get some of it off to do this Okay, so I'm going to use the same pom-pom um, in my alligator clip to just ink this teddy bear up. Looks pretty good. I can make it look uh, vintage that way. And I like that. Okay. For now, it's good. Okay, then I'm going to take her. And I usually use tweezers. Because I, I like to. And I put her where I want it. And then I put some glue. And I do it for both sides. I'm only going to do one side right now. And then I take my bow that I've already tied and I want it right about here to cover everything up. So I'm going to put the glue on the doll and then I'm going to put the bow right over the glue. So there you go. We have a little doll. Oh, and the other thing is I like to do too is I like that... Um, these little bows out of some baker's twine. I'm just going to attach glue a bow there. It's kind of cute. I think that's cute. And I will do it for the other side as well. Just glue that there. And I have the bow here. Isn't she cute? Then you just put a bowl pin in her and hang her on whatever you want. You can even hang her on a Christmas tree Well, with the teddy bear and the bow. You can make her any color you want. Um, you can even take a picture of a family member, of a daughter, of a granddaughter, and cut it out with your one-inch punch and um, make it a doll from, your, from that and hang them on the tree or give them as a gift. I think they would be real cute like that. So... Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, I hope you will give me a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.